It is the largest HBCU classic. This year's game provided some interesting yet thrilling plays, providing some fans with bragging rights and other fans ready for next year's classic. Students, alumni, and fans gathered in Birmingham, Alabama for the rainy 78th Magic City Classic featuring the Alabama A&M Bulldogs and the Alabama State Hornets. The Bulldogs scored first, but Alabama State would then score 21 unanswered points. It was a great, great game, uh, especially since we came out on top. But, uh, you know, we got, we jumped out on them, and then we got a block field goal, I mean, a punt, and, uh, you know, had great field position there to try to add on another score and really take control of the game. And uh, we weren't able to capitalize on it, got a penalty, got backed up, and then we missed a field goal, which was a good kick. We just missed it by about a yard. But the Bulldogs came back with an epic performance by senior running back Jordan Bentley. The game went into three overtimes, but the Bulldogs came out on top, winning 43-41. to 41. I knew what I had, the ball in my hands, I knew what I had to do whatever it did get, to get us the lead. So whenever a quill pitched it, I saw the guy right there. I knew I had to get into the end zone regardless because we don't know what their offense may do. They may score, may get a two-point conversion. Bentley was also named FCS Offensive Player of the Week and SWAC Offensive Player of the Week. Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, just have to give God the glory. He's the one that gave me these abilities and then my teammates for helping me achieve these accolades. The Bulldogs improved to 5-3 and three overall and 2-1 and in the sweat. Reporting for the Alabama a and front page, I'm Philip Green.